Hello there, it's Heste. We won Rock C last time out, and we're gonna keep going. We're gonna aim for uh, the tenth win since we completed the cycle. And we rolled Fed B, which is an extremely average sort of gunship. It's saddled with this stupid artillery system, but it does have dual lasers and four weapon slots, so that's pretty good. You've also got a slug that you can make your pilot. Looks like there, there is our first two jumps. Or possibly actually there, there, there. Or here, here, there. One of those. Regardless, it's here first. Download the data stores. Okay, we got a full sector map from our first jump. Uh, we can see where the only store is, and I don't think it's worth going to that. We, we could go like here, here, there, maybe here, 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 there, but we're not going to have too much scrap for them, like, at most we might have about 50 scrap if we get, you know, good rewards from all of those. I think we just bypass this and we take all the fights, except for this one, which is in a terrible spot, but we could go something like this, that, that, take all of these, take the nebula, just make scrap. And we'll look for stores in Sector 2. We've got a slaver. If they didn't have a missile, this would be a crew killable ship because they have a mantis in the second slot, but I'm not doing that when they can missile me over and over. Okay, that's down. Go start fixing that while they don't have anything they can shoot at us. They're running, but our artillery beam is about to go off, and that will either finish them or, yeah, just finishes them outright. Start working on our shields right away. Oh, I should have sent him to the med bay. Well, aid the civilian ship. This would be a great trainer if not for the fact that we don't have our shields up. Good, we dodged. Unfortunately, so did they. I wonder if I can desync these lasers. The answer to that appears to be no, because I can't fucking hit them. Somebody finally managed to hit each hit the other in this stupid fight. If I can desync these, I might actually be able to crew kill this ship, or at least try to do so. Send somebody to shields, and I want to see when their weapon gets fixed. Don't go off. So, ah, there's, no, they're still too close to each other. Fortunately, we dodged that, but... Okay, let's not spend more time on this, then. Sadly, no double reward. That means another jump without our shields being up. But this should be the last one. Am I able to... I think I'm immune to damage here. Because if I put my Zoltan in shields... This actually powers the third shield thing. And I believe... Actually, this is the these are the weapons that time out in such a way that it doesn't matter anyway. But yeah, see, that uh, the ion hit, but we still have a shield bubble up. Okay. 
We can't really grind dodges. To, I keep forgetting to let's heal you now. I can't really grind dodges here because the engine hack means my evade is terrible and I cannot get engine skill at all. I think what I'll do is try to crew kill this. Yeah, it's probably not going to work though with level 2 oxygen. Just keeping the artillery mostly ready in case they start trying to run away. Nah, let's just let the artillery go off. This is not going to work. They burned down. Okay, now the shields are up. Now we can just find a fight where we can train. Take every one of these fights if we can. Nice, there's an outpost. Unfortunately, this is not a trainer fight. But it is a guaranteed double scrap reward. Even with the upgrade, this artillery is so slow that I'm going to kill them with my laser on its own without ever having fired it. We're going to save scrap for the rest of this sector. Nice, another outpost. This is potentially crew killable depending on what that bomb is. I don't know that it's worth it. Our crew are not that good at repairing. The worry is they could bomb my shields, which my shields are in an awkward spot to vent and my crew aren't great at repairing, so I think I'm not going to actually risk it. I'll try to do this without spending any missiles, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to use one now. They have a system repair drone as well, otherwise they would not be repairing that quickly. There we see it running back to the drone room. Go artillery, go! Nice. We somehow have nearly 30 fuel. Okay, I don't like this fight. That means we don't have, effectively don't have the missile. So... Try to keep that down. Okay, good. Look, doesn't look like they're running as well, that's positive. Nope, they're not running. Okay, we're up to being able to afford hacking. If I go to this fight, I kind of have to go right to the exit. I'm wondering if going here, here, or like here, here, here is better. Do I have the time to do that? I think so. I'll gamble on being able to find at least one fight in one of them. Why do I keep, I keep forgetting to heal my weapon person? I'll use the Lido missile right off the bat here and try to hopefully take this burst 2 out before it fires. 
Yep, and it was the missile that did that. My lasers missed. Okay. Maybe my lasers will hit someday. It's a good dream. I don't want to use missiles if I don't have to. But now I do have to. The ship struggles quite a lot with enemies running away. You have a lot of dam of trouble keeping damage on systems. You can't do that much per volley. We could have had a weapon draw from that. But we didn't. So let's just make sure I can take two jumps here. Yes, I can. As long as I don't have a fleet pursuit doubling. I can go here, here, out. Scrap some of the debris. I think we've made scrap at every single jump so far. Investigate the battlefield. Kill this, so I'm just gonna kill this guy. You know, they have a bed bay and a missile. I'm not even gonna try. Thank you, artillery beam. Although they're powering their FTL, they're never going to be running. They have too many systems damaged. They're going to try to keep fixing those. Shoot that out. Attack the pirate. Here is a fight we can dodge train, so I'm gonna do that. I won't be able to crew kill this because of the engine, but we can at least get training in our evade. So I'll meet you when that's done. Okay, we're back. We're full of aid trained. I've started charging up my artillery beam. I'm not gonna try to crew kill this, as I mentioned, because of the NG. Yes, I did take myself off mute. Sudden weird feeling that I may not have done that properly. I'm worried about them trying to run, so I want to let the artillery beam hit them first. That'll send them scattering to try to fix a bunch of systems, and then we can start shooting at them with our other weapons. Yeah, like that. No. Not actually especially more generous than the first offer you gave me. I think a nine scrap is pretty bad. Okay, they're not running. So. There is no danger on that account. Yeah, that's much better than nine, even though we didn't get the double reward. That was still a very, very strong first sector. We made over 200 scrap, I believe. Let's double check. Yeah, 204 scrap in that sector. Now we just need a store. So let's go here and here. That sees this whole bit of the sector. Give myself more evade here. Ooh. 
Ooh, the asteroids kind of help there. It'll help me get an extra shot through. I don't wish to alarm you, but you have no shields in an asteroid field. Just thought you should know. Go fix those doors before we jump out. Okay, there's a store. Nothing there, sadly. Take one more jump than the store, then probably up through this nebula. They packed my engines, but whatever. As long as that's down, they can't do anything to us. I should have realized that was going to happen and swap my weapons around. That was very dumb. Need the artillery to do something to be to really start cracking this ship. Okay, there we are. Unfortunately, they have the shield buffer. Okay, good. They're not running. So, we're looking for ha hacking and some weapons, ideally. Well, it's 0 for 2 on that count. We could buy cloaking here. We actually have enough scrap for it, but the thing is, that will take pretty much all of our scrap, and we do need to actually scale our offense up in time for next sector. So I'm not doing that. We're gonna we're gonna leave it. I could buy the piloting upgrade for the manually search blue option in this nebula. It's not really worth it, I don't think. If had a map reveal, I would probably, and I knew I was going into a beacon that could be that, I would probably do it then, because we have enough scrap that we could afford to spend 20 on it. I'm just concerned about the possibility that, say, I don't know, we get a store and the only weapon we can get is a level 3, or a 3 power weapon. Having to, being able to upgrade onto that and acquire it could be difficult. We ever hit this stupid thing? Apparently not. Don't really don't want to waste missiles on this, but I think I might end up having to because they are just dodging like absolutely fucking crazy. We finally hit. One possibility is they made us run out of bombs. Then we win by default. Nah, you just get in there. Finally got that down. That fight was annoying, but not really dangerous.
This doesn't see anything, so let's just go here. There's at least one more store in this sector. This could potentially be a map reveal. Oh, you've decided to make this take ages. Let's see if I can take the hack out so we can actually get our artillery off at any point. Our shot must have collided with one of theirs. And of course we're failing to hit anything, because that's how things have been lately. There we are. Now artillery, please don't just hit hacking and engines, hit to hit a couple of good rooms, particularly shields. Thank you. Okay. It's not the weapon I was looking for, but it is a weapon. We can use that to get crew kills as well, if we find some more safe fights. This jump we're not going to be able to see, I don't think. At most, we could get, we certainly wouldn't be able to visit it. We can see all the other beacons. Mm, how many jumps do we have before the exit? It's like five non-nebula jumps. I can probably take these two and then go forward to there, and then I could go anywhere that I might see. So let's see about doing that. Hopefully now we can find some safe fights. This is neither safe nor are there any crew here. But if we could find a safe fight, we could get some crew kills with our anti-bio beam. Maybe get a weapon drop from that one. That way. That's an ion bomb. That's why it didn't get to fire, because ion bombs have such a large charge time. We kill here because they can't dodge. I am going to do this now, in case we do get it, because, you know, if we get a store, we can buy hacking and a weapon easily. Nothing. That does keep my FTL charging here in the solar flare, so it's not completely worthless. Actually, you get in there while my slug goes and heals. This solar flare should absolutely wreck them. They'll die here to my artillery. You're gonna put that out sometime. Thank you. Unfortunately, since we got the anti-bio beam, we've fought two ships and they've both been auto scouts. Okay, so this sees all the jumps that we could possibly get to in the time we have left in the sector. So if there's a store, any of them. Okay, pirates. That means there's crew. Unfortunately, they have a missile, but they also have a mantis who's going to be repairing their weapons. So if we can take this Lido missile down, we'll then be able to switch to the anti-bio beam. I know that's a Lido because they can only have level 3 weapons. That heavy ion is level 2, so it must be a Lido. And there we can see that it most definitely is a Lido. I will charge the artillery off, but not let it go off. I'll just keep taking it offline. I don't know why I did that, and I'm glad that I missed, because that would have caused them to switch over to the, uh, the missile. 
Okay. I mean, neither of the weapons we've had dropped this sector have been what I wanted, but we can kind of make them work. If we really have to. But we may not have to. Still no weapons in stores. Get some repairs. Keep holding our scrap for next sector. If necessary, what we can do is use missiles to shoot weapons, upgrade our hack to hack weapons to buy time, and then use our artillery to win things. That's not an ideal strat, but it works. Chuck a swarm missile into there to make sure I can't take damage. Uh, well, they dodged. Never mind them. Nice dodge. Maybe we can knock this off on time. I think our shields are now gonna sync up. No. Oh, uh, we got rid of the rock. Turn this off. Might manage this. I need to pull my dual lasers, and I'm... We can't do this by hacking. Might not have been worth doing that, I'm not sure. More free weapons that we don't really want, but... Put this on my bar instead of the Lido missile, because this counts as an ion weapon, so it gives a blue option. Clearly going Angie here. We One good store that has some weapons, and we are way out in front. We have not yet found that. The bad side about being here, of course, is that Angies often have defensive drones. Attack the ship. This is probably curvilable. Although we do have the unfortunate problem that we need all of our shots to hit, our laser shots, to uh, actually use the anti-bio beam. Let's see if 
about dropping another swarm missile in there. They dodged. As long as I can take one of these off. I'm gonna actually charge my swarm missile up all the way, because as long as I can hit it once, we are safe and we can do this to stop them from, uh... Not actually sure. My problem is I'm not sure that I can ever stop this NG from getting to the med bay in time. No, I don't think that I can. At least not if they have two shield bubbles. Let's see. Do I want to swarm missile their shields? I need to missile their shields in some way. Yeah, I think I have to swarm missile their shields. It's unfortunate this is using a lot of ammo. Probably should have recognized that the crew kill wasn't viable with them having two shield bubbles sooner. Now it might be workable. Want that door to lock before I try doing this. Good. Not good. We might still pull this off, but it isn't likely now. Got ya. But yeah, we did spend more missiles there than I would have liked. For the moment, any time that an enemy offers a surrender that has missiles in it, I think we have to take it. Let's go here and then there. We'll accept. Yeah, take that. Give us some drones. Aid the civilian ship. Okay, good. This guy only has one shield bubble. We're not stinting on the uh, drone parts here. We just want to use all of our special stuff. If necessary, we could start doing fights, as I mentioned, by... Uh, you know, doing hack and relying on our artillery to do most of the damage. I just, you know, don't want to do that because relying on artillery is not ideal. Miss the mantis, but it's fine. Welcome aboard, NG. You go man doors, because this ship is kind of vulnerable to borders. 
Go here. I at least want to see if that is a store, even if I wouldn't go to it. Ugh, yuck. This ship is really strong and we are not. I have to swarm missile shields, otherwise we cannot meaningfully damage this ship. God damn it. Start charging that up, I know they're gonna hack it, but they switched back to the right weapon. Don't allow that. I'm not even trying to kill this ship, they are way too dangerous. No. Ugh. That fight was nasty. Can I please- where are the fucking stores? This is an NG sector. Oh yeah, I should swap after this fight the Lido missile back in, because I no longer need the stun bomb for the ion blue option because Nanji covers that event. Yeah, we have we have loads and loads of scrap. If we can just get a good store, we're in really good shape. But that requires us to find any store. No. Where are the fucking stores? One must have been at one of those beacons, at this beacon up here that we couldn't see. Because there have to be two be two stores in this sector. So I'm guessing the other one is right here. Because I think we've seen every other jump. I could go distress there, there, and then out. Or I could go here, there, and quest, and then out. I think this towards the quest is better. I want to just, I want to minimize the number of jumps before a store because you know any of them could be a fight like that last nasty one that could have turned disastrous. Yep. So yeah, the other store was at that one co awful corner beacon. Okay. Well, it's taken us a while. But we found the store. Okay, so firstly we buy this, that's obvious and clear. Sell the anti-personnel drone and the stun bomb, we're never using them. Probably selling the swarm missile as well, yeah. If we sell the swarm missile, we can buy heavy laser and cloaking. Goodbye, anti-bio beam. I want my stealth weapons. Stealth weapons with burst two, heavy laser, and dual laser is ridiculous. 
So, we are also set on systems. We need, we'll need to get the backup battery later, but like, whatever, we have plenty of time to do that. And we'll eventually want to replace the Lido with a better weapon, but that we also have plenty of time to do. Uh, no, we can lose crew here. Let's attack the pirate. We could beat the game with these weapons. Ideally, I'll replace the Lido with another heavy laser once, and I can use level 5 weapons and just obliterate everything. A heavy laser, too, would also be incredible. Okay, this is kind of annoying. Don't run away. I want your scrap. Destroy the ship and salvage it. There's no point getting extra jumps. We're about to leave the sector. Get cloaking up. Civilian. There's a store that we don't want to go to because, you know, we just spent all of our cash. Have another big nebula. This is very promising. Although it's sort of, although it looks like one big nebula, it's kind of split up. And to get to these jumps, we have to go either through the exit or take this back route. Reject their offer. I want to get weapons four next to bring the heavy laser into play. Then we'll spend a while um, getting power, getting 100% cloak evade, that kind of stuff. That's interesting. Good, that's spread into shields. I think we've got a, probably got a crew kill here. Yep. Shoot the burst laser. Let the shield bubble recharge. No. Well, there's one store and there's another, so there may not be any stores in this sector past that, but it's fine. I don't need stores right now, I need upgrades. We'll take these three jumps, then go up. Yeah, I guess. Gives me 15. Good number. Double heavy ion and missile. That's certainly a build. I know they're running, but these weapons are dangerous enough that I want to hit them at least once. Unfortunately, I didn't take the missile down. Now I do need to shoot a pile of it. Cloak. We can keep shooting thanks to our stealth weapons. Good.
try to follow them. Yay, we get a free rock. You can go on shields, I guess. A sensor station. We don't need to waste a drone on this, this flight is not dangerous at all. We can cloak these two lasers. And let's win. Full map reveal. Okay, there's a third store. We're still not we're not going to that either. We're gonna just go distress, fight, fight. Down into the nebula, we might be able to take an extra jump. Since the exit in fact, since the exit isn't a nebula, I don't care about diving. Angie, give me a blue option. I'll counter the hack that was hacking. I should be fine with my ability to cloak. Let's vent this with this. He'll start running down towards pilot. Getting 100% cloak evade. Yeah, we can do this. Uh, we'll take that. That's as lopsided a trade as you can get in this game. I have rejected that deal before if I'm really low on drones, but here we have enough. Get another chance to knock this off. And one moment. Okay, we're back. Taken that missile down, so we're completely safe right now. Let's hit their shields right before the solar flare goes off. That might burn out. Yeah, nothing I can do, immediate double fire, I. Right? Vented it loads. I suppose I could have sent the Angie to try to fight it. Maybe that would have been the difference. The rock is too far away. Kill the refugees.
don't even need to cloak this. How high level mind control is that? Just level 1, so... I don't think we even need to hack. These weapons are very non-threatening. If we get a good fire, we can probably crew kill this. So, you know, Zoltan's not exactly very good at fighting fires. Unfortunately, we did not get any fire. We'll just blow them up then. Good double reward. We now have 100% Cloak of Aid. We'll start saving for stores again. Although the only thing we really want is a fourth weapon. And the backup battery. Attack the pirate. I'll want Cloak 3 in the not-too-distant future, given we have stealth weapons. And quite fast weapons. Now, this guy is locked in piloting by our own hack but I think we can knock that offline before they can flee. Nope. Nice. Our fuel remains ridiculously high. As, like, I think it briefly went back down. I suppose it was that that fuel, that 10 for 1 fuel trade. I suppose I shouldn't then be surprised that it's high, but... Ah! That was. This sometimes happens in low power battles. The enemy will pull a beam drone or some offensive, some other drone out of its pocket and it take you off guard. But we were able to avoid damage nonetheless. Time to dive! It's a nebula dive, so no ASB. Don't think we need to hack, we can just cloak this missile. They can't even, they're not even gonna board us, which is unusual for a, a dive ship. Really? Blaster shields, uh, you didn't finish the healing, I guess. Yeah, good luck ever getting to fire that. We took one damage because we couldn't dodge. I think it's worth saving the, uh... It's worth saving the drone part. And, uh, now we're gonna go into the Rebel Stronghold. We don't have long-range scanners to try to find the Constructor flagship, but whatever, this is still the highest scrap sector in the game, generally. It's an immediate store. We can sell the beam drone. 
and if we do that, we can buy any weapon there might be here. There isn't, but we can buy the backup battery. That's an alternative. Yeah, we don't have a map, so we're just jumping blind. We may not find the Constructor flagship, but that's fine. Since these people are running away, I'm going to hack piloting. That's very useful. Knowing that they have level 3 piloting is extremely valuable, because I can set my shots deliberately. So I'll do this. Burst laser at there. That'll do one damage. I'll offset that a bit. Put the dual lasers into there and the heavy laser into piloting. That will guarantee taking piloting down. We get two damage on weapons, which means they can't hurt us. And we're able to do that because we know all the shots are going to hit. And we know how many we need to put to take the, uh, the pilot down. Time to get a low scrap reward. We 20 scrap. No, this is a decoy. This, we know this is not real because there's no human there. We will execute the rebel defector on the spot. This has crew kill potential, given that they have a clone bay and a big fire and a locked room. And now a breach as well. Like, these two will warp back, but they may board us again. I'm not actually sure, though. These two may take too much damage and thus not do that. They've given up fighting that fire, so the clone bay is going to burn down. I think they actually won't board me the second time. I think they're going to be too low on health from fighting the fire. And, of course, now there's this. This dumbass is going to stand in this room that's on fire instead of going the other way around. Nope. Okay. Oh, we'll upgrade to use that right away. It's not a great weapon, but it'll do. We can hopefully replace that eventually. Storage cache, cool. They're going to get the cloak again, unfortunately. Let's see if I can knock that cloak offline in time. Yes. Nice, a double reward and a drop. Let's upgrade my cloaking now. Well, forward scout is annoying. Because of that, I'm going to hack their piloting again. Okay, good. We don't need to put much on that system. Gigantic long cloak. Keep firing through it. Big fire.
I'd really like to find the constructor flagship just for the drone parts. Uh, we'll give them 15. We can afford to do that. Get a full repair and a free reactor upgrade. Okay, we know that isn't look around, so let's avoid that. Got it! Should I hack pilot or shield? So I normally hack shields against the flagship. Although there are times where a, where a pilot hack is also good. I think I'll just hack shields. We can almost certainly knock the missiles off. And then we're completely okay. Yep. We just need to cloak this. Or we could just knock it offline. So, that was very easy. We don't get a particularly good weapon as our reward, but whatever. We can sell it for 20 scrap, and we got five of everything, and we got two free jumps. And now we don't have to worry about trying to find the Constructor Flagship, so we can go into this nebula that I want to go into. However, I'm going to use my two free jumps first, because it's a waste to use your free jumps in a nebula. You know, the fleet pursuit being halved doesn't matter when the fleet isn't pursuing you. I'll go Distress there and to the nebula, actually. Start working on my shield level. Long clock. Something tells me this mantis is not going to have any meaningful ability to repair this. No. You got a fire in their shields. Thank you for abandoning the piloting room just as I was about to fire. It's very helpful. Sure, let's accept. Kind of tempted to hack piloting there to guarantee knocking stuff off, but no, let's go for the good old fashioned weapon hack. We had level 6 shields, we would have been completely safe there. We could have got sh got full shield skill, but since we don't... Get out of the way. Okay, they die on the next volley since they can't dodge. I'm going to try doing this without hacking. They have no shields. 
and you know I can shoot at them under cover of cloaking of my stealth weapons. Yep, we don't even need to do that. Easy scrap. Okay, now we'll start saving again. Okay, we're gonna get a chance to rescue the drone part ship. That's good. Or the delivery ship, I don't remember which exact descriptor this quest was. Okay, we're completely safe. If this weren't, you know, rock and double engies, we could probably kill this, but it is rock and double engies. So we rescued the delivery ship, got a nice reward. Nah. We will obviously attack the rebels. Rebels go boom. We're stealing the civilian supplies. Unfortunately, it wasn't much use. Is it worth diving for? I think it is worth diving for a store here. We have three different things to sell. They don't sell for very much, but we do. And you know, it's another chance to look at weapons and that kind of stuff. Very disappointing weapons. The small bomb is reasonable. I could I suppose I could pick that up for crew kills in phase one, but I don't think that's worth it. I'd do it if it was a breach bomb. I realize of course we just had a run where I used a small bomb to some effect to crew kill in phase one, but we had mind control in that run and I don't have it this run. Hack those weapons. This isn't really ventable, so send people up to help the fight. Cloak now. We aren't killing this ship, we're just going to run away from it, so we might as well use the full level cloak. Manta Sector is kind of meh, but whatever. Sees the most. Yes, sell 15 missiles for 45 scrap. 
that was another reason why I didn't buy those that bomb is that I knew an event like that might come up and if we did sell all the missiles we wouldn't have very many left last run we had so many that I sold 15 at one point if I recall correctly and we still had loads I see they have a repair drone over there. Let's blast them to smithereens. Oh, well, there's a store. Good. Take some of these other jumps and then head up to the store. Buy three, I guess. Kind of a wasted jump. Let's aid the civilian ship. These guys have double missiles, which is kind of nasty. We can probably stop them from using those. Yep. This laser does nothing whatsoever. Boo, the mantis got out at the absolute last moment. I'll punish you for this. We can probably crew kill this. Because we can lock these mantis in this room. And mantis do not do very well at fighting fires. And you're not going to get out and done. Ah, oh, they burned down. I, The fire spread. I shouldn't have shot at them. That was dumb. Thanks, they can patch up some of my hole damage. We. Oui. That was my fault. I shouldn't have shot at them again. I was doing that to increase, you know, them running out of the room because I was worried they might put the fire out enough that they could actually start repairing. But. That's the problem with me not having anyone in sensors. I didn't realize the fire had spread to another system. This is also promising, especially since there is also a solar flare in this beacon. They do have a med bay though, so that makes it a little bit more difficult. The key thing in getting a crew kill here is killing the NG. If we can do that, and we possibly can by getting the board us. Okay, that's awkward. Go fix that, please. Never mind, they've already had some people die. They're not going to board us again. But they have loads and loads of fires on their ship. Ah, their NG just got out. Ah, but he died. There's fire in that room as well. Cool. Okay, their O2 is going to run out. So we're fine. With this much fire, there's no way the mantises fight this. And it's not like they're, this ship's gonna burn down, they have way too much hull. 
you're gonna just burn to death trying to break through the locked doors. Let you in. <laughs> he changed his mind pretty quickly, but not quickly enough. One, two, there. Don't have the space for that, I don't think. So we're gonna go here, 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 and then top side, and then... Oh, that doesn't actually approach the exit. Hmm. I might actually take those back jumps anyway and just do a big dive. Like, I'm not remotely worried about it. That's a lot of mantos. You get out of there. Come on in, Butters. Not much of anything here. You buy a crew member, I don't think that's worth it. We will pass and move on. Get our hacking all the way up. If we can breach their weapons, we can use this as a shield training fight because of the asteroids. And we did, cool. So let's do that. And I will meet you back when our rock has full shields training. Okay, we're back. I have got my shields skillfully trained. Win this fight easily. If I recall correctly, we're taking a big dive. Yes, we are indeed. We're going to take these three di with these three beacons. It'll end up being a triple dive because we'll have to go there, there, there. But I don't care. Hmm. Just thinking now whether or not it's worth the possible use of drone parts. We're effectively getting two extra jumps actually because we're not getting the. Actually, screw it. Let's go to the exit, because I was just thinking, yeah, we'll actually only get two jumps out of that, and we could end up using three drones. So, forget about the big dive. Also makes the rest of the run faster. NG Homeworlds is not the sector I wanted to go to in Sector 7. If we find the NG Homeworlds quest, we won't even be able to do it, because... It'll, the quest beacons will, that sec, that quest can often take numerous sectors to finish off, and uh, we don't have numerous sectors. This ship is possibly crew killable because they have nothing but mantis over there. Yeah, this is definitely crew killable. Now we just wait.
Let you out, I don't actually want any of these mantis to die yet, because their clone bay isn't down. <laughs> Look out! Boarded me with a guy with one hit point. Why am I shooting at the teleporter? Whatever. We missed those shots mostly. We just have to wait now. The O2 will run out. They've given up trying to fix their clone bay, which means they're screwed. There's also a fire in that empty room, clearly, or there's no O2 in there from the fact that Mantis died while walking through it. Now we just wait. Shouldn't be long now. Nice. This could be a, a, reward, a reward that gives us a weapon. Yep, it is. Threat resolved. This gives us a weapon and a quest, which is the Federation base quest, because we have the NG. Okay. And just a moment. Okay. I could theoretically use that Vulcan, but no, the weapons we have now are better. We'll find a store and sell it. It's an edgy sector, so we shouldn't have too much difficulty doing that. Maybe it will have weapons that are as good as there were in the NG sector that we had way back at the beginning of the game. This could be crew killable. Breach is not as good for getting crew kills as fire, but... These two are still going to be stuck in here. Okay, well, this NG coming over to us certainly helps us. Don't know why the Zoltan was in there, or how long that's been the case. I'm mostly crushing enemies before they even get to fire at me, so... I'll cloak to make sure this NG can't escape. And the Mantis can suffocate. Cool. Okay, there's a store. Take this jump just to see if there's any others down at the bottom of the sector. Since this is a forward scout, I'm going to hack piloting and guarantee shooting that out. I didn't fire one of my guns there. That's why the... Black 2 is still online, but it won't be.
Okay, now we take the store. Bye now. Buy these drones. Yeah, this is... These are ridiculously good weapons. If we hadn't already got stealth weapons, we'd be getting them here. That's the Federation base quest. Should I hit another store just to see if we can find, say, a pre-igniter or an autoloader or something like that? It's kind of greedy, but whatever. We have 300 scrap and ridiculously good weapons we can afford to be greedy. Didn't pay off. Let's buy these drones and move on. Not gonna do that again. We might actually have enough scrap to upgrade our artillery on this run. Depends on how much we get for the rest of this sector. This is... no, we don't have enough hull to play with here. Let's just blow them up. Uh, let's si offer them up for a bounty. Another crew member would be kind of helpful for the boarding phase, but it's not needed. We'll probably be able to, and we might get it at the one at the Federation base quest anyway. They often drop crew, though not always. This version of the quest, as I remember, typically gives you a crew member. get this fight with an ASB on our side from the base that we're here to protect. One of the only events in the game where you can get an ASB on your side. ASB goes right through their weapons. Didn't really intend to cloak there, but whatever. You two go and heal. Take out their evade, now the ASB is guaranteed to hit them. multiple breaches in their weapons room from ASBs hitting it. And yeah, it does indeed. Give us another crew member. We have a fighting NG. Heal the refugees. What's up? Is that a level 3 hack on my O2? I think it might be. This has very high group kill potential, though. That's a very central room. They have no medical unit of any kind. There's a hack. 
back, there, Zoltans. Yeah, let's watch this play out. Give it a bit of help as well. They're gonna try to run. Emphasis on try. Pop! Contact the refugee ship. Nice. Double reward. That is so much crap. I think we actually might be diving here. I thought we had more space, but it doesn't matter. Let's secure the cash. We may not get an opportunity to sell that, but... Oh, we're not diving here anyway. We might not get an opportunity to sell this, but it's still 51 scrap. We weren't really going to be able to take that much advantage of the extra jumps. We get a free weapon. This background always means a free weapon. So now I do hope we find a store just so we can sell the drops we got there at the end. We don't need a repair. This We're about to jump into a place where we'll get 10 free repairs that we also don't need. Try to get to one of these repair stations. Should we do that? Yeah, let's do that. I won't use that in every phase, especially phase one of the flagship, I will turn that off. Yeah, this is a lot of scrap. No, we're not accepting the bribe. Mm, should I hack pilot? I think I'll hack pilot here. If I hack pilot, I'm guaranteed to do that clears the flak, clears the shields away, and that does three, two, two, so seven damage to their weapons. That will take both missiles offline. Ah! Are you joking? Okay, it only does six, because the defensive drone shot down one of the flak shots, but whatever. No. You have to pay for wasting all my damn drones. By which I mean I wasted my drones by being an idiot. And I blame you for it. Another double reward? This has crew kill potential. They're gonna get vented, because they can't flee back to their own ship. Let's turn the artillery off. Good, that's offline. The fire please spread into there. Now, it is possible that this isn't going to work. Um, can I time this? Ah! Well, they dodged one of them anyway. I was hoping to peg both of them with the heavy laser before... Uh, while they were both running through. Didn't work. I don't think they have enough hull now.
this guy will run away. Yeah, it's not going to work. Because this will burn down shields, they'll have one hole, it'll go into oxygen. He'll run out of the room. Oh well. Take a repair station just to get my drones above 10. Gonna damage buffer my weapons because I have so much scrap. Oh yeah, you're wounded. This is a not enough time event and we can probably crew kill this by hacking oxygen. We just have to knock that Vulcan off once or twice, and considering we have level 3 cloak and stealth weapons and stuff like that, that shouldn't be particularly challenging. Yep, yeah, there we are. I did not intend to cloak there, but it's fine. Yeah, come on over and board us. Good. Nice outpost. Um, if we hack piloting, I think we can knock this off. Let's see, it'd be six damage to weapons if we hack piloting. Don't know that it's guaranteed to knock that off, but it is very likely to, and we really get two volleys. Ah, we didn't do as much damage because one of our shots hit a drone, but we took off the only weapon that mattered. Angie's go and fix. Good, their weapons are down. Another double reward. Should we double buffer our weapons? I'll hold off just in case we find a store with a pre-igniter or something. This one's another pilot hack. Go, artillery, go! And this volley will crush them. Their drones were valiantly trying to face tank it, but it didn't work. The answer to that question was apparently we can get engines and the cloak. And the weapons buffer, rather. Um, how many more jumps should we take? I think I'll try to take both of them. I'm not really worried about what they hack. Mm. Or do we... Nah, we'll t let's, let's take them and give us a chance to reset it if we need to. 
I'm not that concerned, but a shield hack would be annoying. O2 hack, though, is completely fine. Just run level 202. With weapons this fast, you could definitely consider hacking sh uh, piloting instead of shield. I'm going to hack shields primarily because it gives better, um, it shuts the center of their ship off better and makes it easier to get crew kills. But with weapons this fast and with this many shots, it would definitely be valid to, uh, do a and evade hack instead. Once they're at a cloak, we will blast their shield through. We should get at least a kill out of that. Um, if we kill here, these will get three side room kills. Nice! Triple side room buck. If you didn't know, the two rooms that connect the laser and missile artillery to shields, they're only there on hard difficulty, and there is a bug in the game where if, a cr if the... at the end of the phase, the flagship sort of checks whether its crew are still alive, and it doesn't check those two rooms because they're not there on all difficulties. So therefore, any crew that are still in those rooms, when a phase ends, get deleted. Let's fight the rebel ship. The rebel ship that can't hurt us. They'll annoy us by hacking our weapons, but whatever. We will uh, do worse to them by hacking their oxygen. Ah. You have level 1 oxygen and no ability to get through my shields. You are fucking begging for this. Okay, you obviously put all your points in dodge. We don't even need to shoot their oxygen, though. We can literally get this crew kill. We would only need to shoot their clone back. We could just hack the O2 over and over again until it goes all the way down. We'll do that to demonstrate. Because it's only level 1. I think it's on the third one they'll get to zero o two. Yeah, there it went very briefly. It'll refill, but it won't refill enough. And it's the next time we do it that it'll get low enough that they all die. I'm actually going to hold it off so that I won't hack right away. I'll hold it for just a little bit so that their weapon hack is done. Because I want to be able to shoot their clone bay when their people are all dead. Let's hold for just a moment. It does let them refill their oxygen a bit, but not very much. Goodbye. Fend for ourselves, attack and escape. We can pilot hack here. And guarantee doing 7 damage to weapons, that makes the fight non-threatening. Wow, double repair drones. That was some fast putting up fires. 
not as fast as I can apply damage. I guess I don't know what uh, what exact to spend on here. I I have a strong suspicion that it doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's see, how many crew do you have left? Not very many, four. So yeah, all those people that were in the side rooms died. Question is whether or not we try to get one or two crew kills here. This is another place we could just hack evade and guarantee all our shots hitting. It's also a question of whether or not we've run the artillery beam. If we're trying to get more crew kills, we probably don't really want to do that. I think we keep hacking shields. In which case, we'll turn this off. I'll send my NGs to help fight that. Also, we don't want level 3 cloaking in this phase in case we have to deal with double, um, with two drone surges. We want to be able to cloak both of them. Quite possible we can kill James here by just shooting into that room again. Yep, goodbye. Cloak now. Now we want to just end the fight. If we can, we'll kill Lysandra here. I think we might be too slow for it, though. Yeah, we're too slow for it. However, there is a way we can get one more. We just have to time it right. Ah! He stopped trying to run to there so he couldn't get another side room kill. Oh well. There's only three of them, it's not that much to deal with. They'll board two people onto our ship. And mind control one person. They can't mind control our pilot. Now shields and weapons are both annoying because they're very difficult to vent. I'm gonna run my crew out of those rooms. Put them in the med bay, and then if they if they mind control one of those, it's fine. I am too scrap short of being able to get swag sensors. Sad. Okay, they t they mind controlled the person I would most want them to mind control on the entire ship, so that's very positive. Now, unfortunately, they did board in a bad spot. I'm gonna move my rock over there now because I want them to. I don't want them running into piloting. Oh, 
Okay. Super shield is down. Uh, this is another one. I'm gonna hack piloting on this phase, because I can guarantee hitting their missiles. Now, we do have their mi the mind control guy in our pilot room, but it's fine to have that now. We actually have 100% of aid anyway. Everyone get back to your position. That's enough. And I think we got it. Yep. Zero damage fight. I'm not surprised at all. That run was ridiculously strong. From the moment we had that that ridiculous store in Sector Three, where we got Burst Two, Heavy One, and Cloaking, it was just the game was over, and we found many, many, many fights. I think this will be quite a high score run. Yeah, that's pretty damn high, especially since we didn't have long range scanners at all in this run. We just found loads and loads and loads of fights. And our beacon count wasn't even that high, it was just everything was a fight. That scrap collected is insane. Nearly 2400 scrap on hard. Well, that was very comfortable. Who's 39? 3, 2, 1, and go. Yay, Slugsy, my favorite ship. I don't think we've done that on this part of the streak, have we? No, good. Okay, so it'll be Slug C next time. That should be a, a nice little treat. I hope you enjoyed this very strong run, and I will see you again next time. Bye for now.